everybody, welcome to the KXW Game Show, where we find out how little about someone knows about a company. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome all contestants, the owner of KXW, Christian Kane. <laughs> I, I, I'm glad to be uh, the first uh, contestant here on this game show. Uh, it's a bit of a work in progress title, but um, I've been waiting to do this for a while because my brain is a peanut. Uh, so, I'll let you take away the hosting duties, and and uh, you can tell me how things are going to work around here. All right, well, we are going to have five different rounds, five different rounds, and in each round, I'm going to ask Christian Payne to answer some questions and take some guesses. Great stuff, I've got. And we'll see how much he knows. We'll okay. see how much. He knows. And our first round, round one, is very simple. It's just a trivia round. And I'm going to ask Chris Payne five questions, and we're going to see if he can get any of them right. Now, a single one. Now, here, here's, the, here's the thing. I run the website, but I can't remember dog shit. I'm not allowed to cheat. I'm not allowed to look at the website. I'm not allowed to look at a video. Not allowed to do anything like that. So I I am here, ready for whatever comments come my way about my own knowledge of my own company. Alrighty. So are you ready? As I'll ever be. Okay. So question number one. What was the first ever championship match? to take place in KXW. Like ch overall championship match? Overall championship match. Any championship match. What was the first ever championship match that happened? I know it was a Vixen's title match. I hope it is, at least. I want to answer anything. It's... Okay, so... So first ever championship match in overall KXW. If it's a Vixen's title match, Fang Payne's involved. In Fang Payne. Ooh. Ooh. Cause I I there those formative years. We had some questionable booking. And we still do. <laughs> Um, because you never know who was going to be in that title match at any time. So I'm going to say it was Fang Pain versus Ivory. Is that your final guess? For the KXW Nixon's Championship. Because I remember it was the red belt because we didn't have one yet. So it was the EAW Women's Championship. So Fang Payne was the champion, the inaugural champion, I know that much. So I, I fuck it. Final answer, I do. And so it was Fang Payne, you did get that. Okay. But it was Fang Payne taking on Oscar and Brimstone in a triple threat. Brimstone. There's a callback. Yep. I, I oh. of course, Fag Payne and Oscar forever rivals. They will never not yep. face off against each other in some way. Triple threat match. Okay. The first uh, that's a, that, that kicked off the show, right? That was the first video uploaded, because at this point, it was like everything, every match was a specific video. Yeah. 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 It's either that or the entrances for the fucking Battle Royal were first. Either way. All right. Interesting. Okay. Second one. Mm. Who were the six men? In the first, in the Shooting Stars Championship Chamber of Six. Oh, Scott Scar. Okay, that's 
One. Clinton. Ignarski. Who? I'm starting to regret this idea. <laughs> um, should it be TJ Killer? Right. Okay, you're halfway there. For some reason, I remember Dylan Johnson. Or? Really? Okay, I'll just say them, and then you'll tell me if I'm wrong at the end. Jason Hawkins, and the Conductor. Incorrect. The last two were Ty Dillinger and Chad Gable. Ty Wright to Chad Gable was Chad Gable. I thought he was in the Hill of the Cell. He was in here too. Well, okay. I don't remember Ty Dillinger being in there. I, I definitely don't remember Chad Gable. For some reason, I think the conductor was in there. I'm surprised I plucked Dylan Johnson. Yeah, that was a name I didn't think you'd know. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Uh, question number three. What was the World Championship match at No One Here Gets Out Live 2017? The hint I'll give you is it was the Hell in a Cell match. Chad Gable. Chad Gable. Just see one more thing. I'll give you one other hint. It's all actual wrestling. Kurt Hawkins. Who? Because he beat Goldberg to get back in. Fun fact: the original oh, take, the original take of that match, Kurt Hawkins won. So he is oh, the really? forever the phantom case to be the heavyweight champion. I guess Kurt Hawkins, Cactus Jack. Three. Bobby Roode. Four. Alistair Black. Five. This was after fucking sixteen. This was after 17, so no arm. This is fully on 18. Thinking, I, I'm, I'm try, picturing the poster in my head. Because Ty, Ty and you were the main event. Who the fuck was the sixth person in that cell? Cesaro. Incorrect. Oh. Again, my brain gets the chamber confused. Because he was in the world title chamber. Yep. Fuck. Okay. Alright. Oh, I could have said Luke Harper too. Uh, I'm wrong either way. Alright. Alrighty. Next question. This one's gonna be a lot the hard one to remember. Who won the KSW 24-7 championship on KSW Battleground episode 27? What the fuck? <laughs> episode 27 of Battleground. Yep. Oh my lord. Specific as a motherfucker. <laughs> it's 
Battlegrounds was before 19, we're in, we're in 18. Stuck between two people and just playing it out in my head. He picked it up at survival. But did he have a. No, because he's not a three time. Brock. Brock doesn't. Okay. This is Wicked Jack. That was one Wicked Jack. That was the other one that I. Because I was just like, Brock wanted it survival, which is probably right. But then I was just like, no, look at Jay wanted it survival. That's like, fuck. Okay. Look at Jay beat Brock Lesnar to win the title. That's why I got confused. Because Brock's a two time, right? Or is he just the once? Uh, he's the one time. But he's held two designs of that. That's why I got confused. Now, final question in this round. Yes. What was the World Championship match at Survival 2018? Survival 2018. I think I know this one because of how stupid it is. Cesaro's in it. Rhino. Matt Hardy. And draw on Strowman. Was I a slow forward? Was I a final answer? Yes. That's incorrect. However, it was Cesaro versus Matt Hardy. Yeah, I know. I know. I know there was a four way for the damn thing. The thing I think it was Bumble. I think because it was. Yeah, because Rhino. Cesaro, Blay Wyatt, Rhino, and someone else. Okay, yeah. Rhino was there. <laughs> so, yep. Okay. Okay, so that was... That was a good one. Good to test the old dog. round one. You did? You did? Okay. What's yeah, I did better than I thought I did. I almost got some answers. Bang on. I did better than just than I thought. Alright. Now move on to round two. And round two. Is titled over or under 40? Well, this is, I'm going to name a person, and I want you to guess if they have had over 40 matches in KXW or under 40 matches in KXW. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. First person, Zed Zilla. Ooh. That's a tough one. Because he his run in KXW is really in two parts. But how many matches did he have in 18? To say over. Incorrect. He is under 40. 35 total matches. Ah, uh, is just under. Yeah. Just under. I, I thought it would have been more considering he's had a really good run this past year. Next one, uh -huh. Jordan Scar. I want to say what I think. But I'm probably wrong. Uh, this one has to be under. Correct. Okay. Thirty-eight. Yeah. Oh, I thought Zetzilla was just under 30. You know, under 40. Holy oh, shit. No. He's a fucking hiccup away from it. Over. <laughs> yeah. Number three. Tom Perry. 
over? No, incorrect. A total of 34 matches Jesus. in his career. Number four, Josh Sniper. Under. No. Eight, oh, 44 total match. Number five, yourself. Over. Yes, a total of 67 <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Number seven, Jordan Fox. Over. Correct. Forty eight. Yeah, he's, he's been he's almost as active as I've been. Number eight, Eliminator. Under. Correct. 23 oh, total match. Jesus! I didn't think it was that long. <laughs> Holy shit. 23 oh, total match. Holy shit. He, he, he started in 19. I guess that would make sense. Because he started in 19. And he's only had sporadic appearances in 22. Okay, I guess I guess that makes sense. Number nine, cold blower. Over. So I'm gonna be honest. I can't do this from the fuck go here because it's exactly forty. <laughs> okay. I'll take a pity point. Yeah. Number ten, and then the final one for this one. Antonio. Under. Incorrect. Really? 42. 42 matches. I guess he has been sent here since friggin' um, 18. Yeah. Damn. I keep forgetting about the previous years. Because, like, me, it makes sense. Because I've been here. Since the start, but uh, that and I'm an egotist egotistical piece of shit. <laughs> I'll say that to the end. Why not? Uh, but um, I keep forgetting that it's like outside of the current run as well. It's like I'm mm -hmm. forgetting about all the stuff of the 19 or the Leo Rush stuff and all that. All right. Yeah. Okay, so that's the end of this film. You got some right there. I got most of them fucking wrong. <laughs> well, yeah, you were also just shocked that it's insane to think how many matches some people have. Yeah. Next what? Next round. Should be be easy for you. It's called Longest Champion. Okay. I'm going to name you the title, and you will tell me who has been the longest champ? And if you can, how long? How many days were they champ? Okay. So, first one, the world championship. Claudio Castillo. Okay. 806 days. You were close. It is called Cross but 833 days. I knew it was. I knew it was a big fucking number. Oh, yeah, it's a big. Not the biggest number, but it is the longest number here. Um, next one The Vixen Champion. Bella Lockjaw. 
It's 300 days. Incorrect. It is Octa with 607 days. Christ! 600 and what? Seven. Good God almighty. Yeah, as I have only a bit of break when it comes to me. <laughs> Next one, the Vixen's 10th team. 10th wonder. 272. Uh, incorrect. Because it is Heavy Metal Noise, the first champion, at 266. What the fuck? Uh, okay. No one's come close. Once they get close to the belt on the move, they lose the belt. Okay. The next one. The 24-7 championship. Brock. The 500 and something days. It is Brock Lesnar 584 days. The Young Lions Championship. Clint. Clint Nignarski. I think just over a year. Clint Nignarski at 461 days. So well over a year. Well over a year. Well over. Next one. The Cruiserweight Championship. Sinful. Like, 600 and something. Sinful. At 851 days. Yeah. <laughs> now, the one that's going to blow the world's mind. The tag team. Barbarians. <laughs> Barbarians. A thousand and seventy-one. One thousand two hundred and thirty-one days. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly forgetting you. It's not the mixture of breaks and forgetting that your tag title exists. And they never lost them. <laughs> yeah. Contract dispute. Next one. The television championship. Kane. 403. Kane is at 630 days. Jesus, I am. <clears throat> I am something else. And the last one, the Kozuko Championship. You. At. Like 235 or something. It is me. It's at 212. Oh, uh, that was close. So you got most of the champ people right. Yeah. Just, you weren't close in days. Yeah. But, You're lucky I didn't update the website before this. <laughs> Gonna have to update it after. Mm. Now, this next one, I'm actually a chance to see how you do this one. No. So this one, round four, and it is TV or pay-per-view. I'm going to name a match. You are going to tell me if it happened on one of our 40 different weekly shows. <laughs> or if it happened on a pay-per-view. Huh. Do I have to name the pay-per-view? You can attempt to. Okay. You know it. Okay. Alrighty. The first one. Kurt Angle versus Braun Strowman. Battleground. TV. Incorrect. It happened on page view. Rumble to remember. Right before, it was like a master, a master two away before Braun won the, the Rumble. Wow. Also, I will have Kurt Angle won the match. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, folks, we, we, yeah, we had a rough go of things in the beginning. <laughs> Okay. The second one. Sting 
versus old school gig. Breaking the habit. Correct. First ever, first ever pay per view. Guys, I remember oh. because old school Gooden's theme is Tulsa time, and we we were filming that fucking match. Josh was over here dancing in his chair. <laughs> That's all. But yeah, I did specifically remember. Okay. Next match. Tom Taylor and American Nightmare versus the Vaughn Eric for the KXW Tag Team title. Rumble to remember. Incorrect. That was on TV. KXW battled on episode 21. Okay. Okay. Next one. Sabo the Clown versus Matt Cardona. TV, that is a war zone. And I remember it being for a, a tournament thing, a hardcore title tournament, and the title never happened. Incorrect. It is on KSW Meltdown, episode two. <laughs> it was TV, at least. It was TV. Okay. It was TV. Get a point for TV. All right. Next one. The Springboard Superman versus the Raw now. And a two out three falls match for the KXW Tag Team title. TV, that was our second episode. Third. Ah! Okay. Fuck! Damn it! Written on the website, potential classic and then great, potential greatest match ever. Yeah. <laughs> this is a fucking great match. Number. The next one. Albert versus Elias. <laughs> it's so gotta be a pay per view. No one here gets out alive specifically. Correct. Uh, <laughs> I figured. Because we threw a lot of shit on you. <laughs> Damn near four hour pay per view, half a shit don't even need to be there. If you think some of the matches on Immortality didn't need to fucking be there, you should have seen that one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> number, number seven Austin Aries versus Finn Bauer versus Stevie Richards versus 2TM for the Outbreak Hardcore Championship. Well, you just gave me the answer, Outbreak. Incorrect, because it was on Bumble to remember. Bumble oh, Dash, okay. These are good. This is a good round. Number eight. Roman Reigns versus Eric Rowe. That's outbreak. TV. No. That is on pay per view. I can't stop you surviving. 2018. <laughs> I started it on Outbreak. <laughs> because I remember when they did the whole Roman Reigns, Eric Rowan, Daniel Bryan thing. I was just like, stolen shit again. <laughs> Son of a bitch. We did that. I did that on pay per view. I'm well, sorry, you. fans. <laughs> for all the people who have stuck around for this long, I'm sorry. Number nine, Trevor Hannibal versus Tom Terror in a hot corner. Aftershock. Correct. Yeah. Because you told me to watch that match or die, basically. <laughs> Pretty much, so. Yeah. I thought about a hot corner. Yeah. Number ten, final one in this round. Antonio... Versus Landon Myers in a steel cage match for the Cruiserweight Championship. Voltage. Correct. 
I remember shooting that and hating it. Because it did not uh, go that way. No, they don't unless you play. I know. Okay, so that's round four. Yeah. You got, you seem to, you don't want to feel that was surprising to you. There's, there's a few that I knew Roman to add on. Well, Roman versus that was the one that seemed to surprise you most. Why did we do some of the things we did? I hope it wasn't my booking book. What? I don't think it wasn't me booking that. Oh. I thought you said that's a question on my bulletin board. <laughs> that be it. I mean, that's a dumb question, though. No, why did we do this? We did it. Oh, fuck. There's so many things. When you look back on what we've done, and it's just like, why? Like, hardcore right. Andre. That wasn't a meat choice, my man. But you didn't stop me. It was already done by the time I <laughs> fucking. The first I thing play. I made on the game. Yeah, I couldn't do anything. I did. Alrighty. And our last and final round. Okay. Name the first map. I am going to aim a rifle. <laughs> and you're going to tell me what was their first map. In case of okay. Number one, yourself. This one I will always remember because I have not stopped hearing about it to this day. It is a number one contender's triple threat where the winner faces Arn Anderson for the KXW World Heavyweight Championship. My opponents are Jason Hawkins. And Boris. Correct. Yeah, and ever since then. Especially when AEW started. And I was giving Cody so much fucking grief. Josh looked at me and he's just like, Do you have room to talk? Because I won yeah. that triple threat. <laughs> also, so it's like he also bought a championship and gave it to himself. Yep, twenty four so seven championship. The twenty four seven championship wouldn't be a thing if it wasn't for me. I walked into that yeah, match and with that title. Yeah, and make sure you still know the head match all the time. Yep. <laughs> Number two. Adam Rage. Brutus Beefcake. Correct. <laughs> I had to go into a very specific part of my brain for that. You know what, episode two. Yep. Because I was thinking of, like, because we have the pictures where it's just the match card is the thumbnail, and I was just like, why did he face British Beefcake? Because <laughs> I know he did. Number three. JJ Bates. This is a case where I created him on the PS3, but he didn't debut until way fucking later. Ashton Rose. Incorrect. He would lose. I didn't write down the date because I forgot. And he lost to Tommy Danger. This so was on PS3. Then. Maybe. I don't actually. But what did you forget to write down? When it happened. Oh. When it was. Because I wrote down for the first two, and then I write down for some other ones. And then there's a couple that, like, a couple I forget. Um. The next one I threw out because I just wanted to I know you won't get them. Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander. You think I don't know this? 
I don't think he'll name the people in it, no. Okay. It's a battle rush. Brian Kendrick. Okay. No, Noam Dar. Okay. Akira Tozawa. Okay. Xavier Woods. Incorrect. Ew. Kalisto. Incorrect. I will get this cut in. Johnny Gargano. Incorrect. What? It's a battle royal. <laughs> it's not a battle royals. It's not a battle royal. It's a multi person it's it's a tag. It's a tag. Six man tag. Six man tag. Okay, so Kendrick, Tazawa. Those no. four those three plus Cedric, so you got four out of the six. Champa. Incorrect. I give up. Fuck. So two you missed were Rick Swan and TJ Perkins. Yeah. It was like a, I think it was a six man cruiserweight debut, pretty much. Yeah. I know. Shit! I was so confident in myself. God damn it. Because what, what I'm listing off is the title match, isn't it? <laughs> that was how we did the title. God. Shit! Okay. I think that was a lot of match, too. Yeah. Son of a bitch, I had it in my grasp, but I dropped it. Number five, Josh Sniper. Me. Hmm. Uh, mm. It's technically Ashton Rose. Because there was that one throwaway match we did. But if we're getting on film, like the least easily accessible, it's Ty Dillinger. That's what I have written down. I forgot completely about the match with Ashton. Yeah, so. because that was on PS3. Yeah, and I don't think that was ever yeah. uploaded. It was, it just was uploaded somewhere fucking else. Right. Yeah, it was. Right. Because it was supposed to be on your channel. Yeah. My channel's changed a lot. Yeah, I'll say. Um. Number six. CM Punk. Fuck. Okay. I threw in a random name here. Well, you can say that again. Oh. I threw in a random name. Get in the corner. Um, I know it was an outbreak tournament. The two was to East. Because I know he won the title from Jason Jordan. And ironically enough, Punk dropped the title to Kenny Omega. Put that in a pipe and smoke it in your neck, you uh, who the fuck? Benoit! Incorrect. He Ooh. defeated Cody Rhodes in the first episode of Outplay. And I remember just the tournament that also in that tournament was CM Punk versus Chris Benoit. The first time ever. That's the second had Hulk Hogan in that. Yes, and he beat some fucking actual car. Talent. Yeah. I remember getting a message about that. <laughs> yep. Oh, in the eye. Okay, yeah, our last one. Brock Lesnar. He teamed with the surplus marines against the asylum. That wasn't his first match, no. His 
first match was when he lost to Anarchy via DQ. <laughs> Well, then that was his first major match. That was the first major match. Yeah, okay. Damn. But it wasn't his first match. Okay. Well, so that is it. That is all of the questions. Here in the case of your game show. How do you think you did? Better than I thought I did. But, oh, <laughs> better than I thought I would, sorry. And also, I feel way better than I thought I would have. <laughs> yeah, there are some good fucking rounds in there. Like that uh, pay per view or TV film. You pulled some surprises on me. And then there was matches that I'm just like, why did we do this? <laughs> but then again, you could have said we did Fraser Crane versus fucking Donald Duck and it wouldn't. Oh, I wouldn't bat an eye anymore. <laughs> but uh yeah I, I think i did pretty 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 good some things i was shocked i remembered there's some things that you were shocked that i remembered ah fucking like fucking dylan johnson british beefcake british beefcake it's just like where did it go it's always g yeah oh yeah oh, i always remember because you're Friggin' reaction to that. And it was the first match we shot on the pay per It wasn't the first one to go on the edit, but it was the first match oh, we my shot God, okay. on the Okay, okay. So we didn't shoot I anything. Was live. What? I thought that was live. No, because we still had the stack duties. Give me a second. I'm double checking. Still have the fucking stack of DVDs. This is the first time we ever edited something together. I'm, I'm double. I swear this one lies. No. Oh, what am I thinking of? Uh oh. What did you do? Nothing. I'm just having to blame my own head. <laughs> I can't on, remember something. It's on the archive. Something I told. I know, I, I'm aware. I'm just having a moment of stupidity where I have to validate that I know, even though I think I'm. If it was live, we said it was. We said it was live for the sake of. Because this was the also the, the 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 other time we did like Facebook exclusives. I think I can even remember the Facebook exclusive we did. I think it was, it was Voodoo Nation versus like Diojo the Clown and Clown from Slipknot. Lost it. 